Hey guys and welcome to another character spotlight video. Today we are looking at the world's most devious assassin, Fernando Vidal, who is of course voiced by Hank Azaria. So Fernando Vidal first and only appeared in Raging Abe Simpsons and his grumbling grandson in The Curse of the Flying Hellfish. In the episode, Mr. Burns phones him, but Fernando first mistakes him for Marion Barry. Mr. Burns then instructs him to kill Grandpa, faxing him a picture of the man. Fernando looks at the picture of Grandpa, telling him that the peas that he'll, he's eating will be his last. Fernando flies from Mexico to Springfield and attempts to try to poison Grandpa's teeth water, but when the alarm goes off, it doesn't exactly go to Fernando's plan. Next, Fernando and Burns go to the retirement home, attempting to disguise himself as Homer. He throws a dagger but misses Grandpa, and then gives his best Homer impression. Actually, such a classic and hilariously funny scene. Next, he tells Burns there is one way to kill a man, but it's very precise. He then bursts into the retirement home, firing his gun willy-nilly at Grandpa, but completely misses. He follows Grandpa, who runs away into the next room, firing at him, but the nurse at the reception area whips out a shotgun, saying that their residents are trying to sleep. Fernando is last seen fleeing the scene, terrified of that nurse. And sadly, that is actually the last time we ever see the world's most devious assassin. It's really weird, but he's never showed up, not even a cameo appearance, ever again. And it's a shame because he's actually such a fun character. So, how was Fernando Vidal first added to Tapped Out? Well, Fernando was first added in the Springfield Jobs update, where he was Act Free's fifth prize coming along with his villa. So, that makes sense as a combo, in my opinion, because obviously we see him at his villa. So, he was free, which was good. In the main quest line, he actually appears briefly, and Aristotle phones him. Uh, to rig the heist competition, and then later on he obviously shows up in the mini cutscenes of the event, where you can see him basically pointing his gun outside there. Fernando, of course, has his own main quest line as well, which is unfortunately only a three-part quest line. In, in it, he has his lasagna stolen by Chief Wiggum, and then he tries to get it back, but is arrested by the police. Fernando has sadly never been re-added as far as I could tell, but let me know if I'm wrong, because I really feel like I am. And that is Fernando Vidal in the game. So, let's look at his tasks and animations. So, of course... He has the standard four-hour tasks of overpay for sex on the beach, stay at the Swalado, try and win a blackjack, drink and babysit, and attend parenting seminars. He also has the common eight-hour dance the senior burns task too. In terms of unique non-animated tasks, he has map out murder zone for 60 minutes, uh, pilfer shop lifting section for 4 hours, relax with his pet for 12 hours, and bust in guns blazing for 24 hours. But what animated tasks does he have? Well, Fernando has two animated tasks, the first of which is murder with precision for 4 hours. So let's have a look. The second animation is wear a convincing disguise for 12 hours. Let's have a look at that one. Really love that second one. Both animations are lifted directly from the show, so mad props there. I really like it when they do that. He also has voice, so let's have a listen to some of his lines. Hola. one more way to kill a man, but he's as intricate and precise as a well Hola. chess. Oh, he's more clever than he looks. Hola. So that's Fernando Vidal. Overall, I think he's a bit of an underrated character, to be honest. He's actually really goddamn cool. So, 10 points are available for the character translation into the game. For this, I give Fernando a 9 out of 10. The building he comes with obviously makes sense, the event he was added in fits the theme of his character, and overall, he was really well translated from the show to the game. Another 10 points are added for the way 
the character was added to the game. For this, I give Fernando a 8 out of 10. He was chucked in a little bit into the prize track. It would have been better if he was a bit more well-rounded out into the quest line, but for the most part, he was added in a pretty cool enough way. Plus, he was free, so I can't deduct points there. So, yeah, 8 out of 10 feels fair. Another, a further 10 points are allocated for tasks, quest line, and animations. His quest line was honestly a little short for me and pretty underwhelming. I just prefer it when a character has a five part quest line and this one felt like really dragged out but short at the same time so it wasn't good. So honestly the quest line doesn't help him. However his tasks and animations are awesome so I'm going to be real nice and give him a 6 out of 10 but I feel like that is me being really really nice just because the quest line lets him down. Another 10 points are awarded for the look and unique features of the character. For this, I give Fernando a solid 7 out of 10. He's translated well enough from the show to the game, and he has voice, which is awesome. But I just wish, wish he was re-added sometime soon, if he hasn't been already. Because, mm, as much as I can tell, he hasn't been. So, overall, Fernando Vidal gets a pretty solid score of 30 out of 40. Not bad for the world's best assassin. Anyway, let's spin that wheel and see... Who is next? So I'm hoping that we, we can actually get a female character this time, just because we've had all males so far, and I feel like it's probably time we had a female character. So let's hopefully get one, and let's spin the wheel. There's a lot of characters. So, the next character we are doing a spotlight on is... Patches and Paul Violet. I mean, one female, I'll take that. <laughs> 